today is the day I'm gonna get this hopefully get this van running so I'll get ready to tow it to my dad's shop look at these tires man still new and that's from like what about four or five episodes ago that I did and show when I showed I was getting those tires put on and I think shortly after that it had to be maybe about three or four days after that and that's when my van went out but it's been sitting here man for I'll probably say about a good month and a half so we're gonna go ahead and take it to my shop my dad's shop actually and uh, see what we can do right, this is the kit I'm gonna be using by Calvan tools and as you can see here's the inserts and here is the bits the threader drill bit here it's my stopper it's gonna stop that drill bit from going too far down into my to my engine so I don't drill a hole into the piston you know some instructions here this is my new spark plug that I'm gonna put in and this is a hose an air hose I'm gonna stick this inside of the hole that I'm going to be tapping and tapping and threading and I'm going to put some pressure through that hose into that hole uh, to make sure that I am getting air coming out of my oil cap that'll let me know that my piston is down far enough so I can be able to drill with this bit first to make sure that I'm not going to tap into my piston head so this is made for Ford Triton engines, 5.4 liter. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, man, as y'all can see, a back in the beast. Finally got it fixed after about three months. It's, it's finally fixed. Um, I got, I had to retap where the spark plug went into the engine because the spark plug blew out and that's why I wasn't able to drive it or even move it or anything like that. I had, I had to have it towed twice. So, I mean, after about three months and those tires that I put on there, about 800 bucks, I only probably drove them for about a week. So it kind of feels good to be back in the beast. I'm driving now. It's, it's back loud. Got people moving out of my way on the highway. Um, I was getting ready to pull out of the parking garage. And I had these kids that were acting like they wanted to try to cross in front of me. And they heard my loud van coming. And they kind of scampered back, you know, to the side to kind of let me go through, you know, I mean, respect. That's what I'm talking about, respect. When you see this big white thing coming through here, respect. But, <laughs> but no, man, on a serious note, you know, I wanted to, you know, I want to shout out to my dad. I went by his shop and I was able to take care of it. Um, as you can see in the video, I had the kit that, that I used, which is from Calvan Tools. It was a pretty good kit. And I mean, it worked. So if anyone is watching this video, I highly recommend if you have a 5.4 liter engine, Ford, um, van, truck, whatever, it's a 5.4, use that kit. And I'm telling you, man, this is it's, going to work wonders, especially if you have a spark plug that, that, that blows out. So it really saved me a lot of trouble, a lot of money. Uh, especially I was able to do it myself. The kit was maybe about 270. So I I'll pay that 270 any day then to pay I think the total cost of that job is about 5 or 600 bucks to to retap a hole where the spark plug goes. So it really worked out. So man, I just want to make a quick video. I'm back in it back on the road 
So hopefully I can continue to give give you guys more and more videos. If you like this, if you like this video, I mean, like it, thumbs up it, subscribe to my channel, Man vs. Maintenance. I'm going to constantly continue to upload videos as much as possible um, and, and try to keep this channel going. But I need you guys to thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, comment, do all of that. So, and thank you guys who, who have already subscribed and who already thumbs up and like my videos, man. All right. Take care, you guys. Have